How are you? We want to dedicate this audio that comes to you wherever you're at to a couple good people out there. One is a local boy done good. Another guy that was bad out of hell. Mr. Meatloaf. One was a St. Paul guy. Louis Anderson. Meatloaf was a hell of a musician. Musician, musician. Magician. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to your feet. Your mom and radio. And the youngsters passed away today. One of those guys you wish you could have met. I was watching uh, the show today and they were talking about him on... Um, their behaviors are how good he was with the, when he would uh, win autographs. He was cool about that. And uh, you wish you could have wrote for either one of the guys, especially music-wise or for jokes-wise. But wherever you two guys are at, again, you don't know who I am, but I know who you two guys are. And the man that wrote Pretty Woman said something. I can't remember his name is. I apologize. said, when he dies, people remember him forever because of his song. Roy Orbison. He said, Roy Orbison. Travis Wilburys. When another young man passed away, here comes my girl, Tom Petty, me and Ted talked, and there's a man out there, um, Buddy Guy, says, who's going to fill those shoes, the blues? But it's also, who's going to fill the shoes of people like these two gentlemen? People have passed Betty White. Saget, who's going to fill the shit of these people of the, uh, I don't know, 45 and unders of people of this generation, right? They play video games, watch pornography, or talk about raised on porn, a good video I listen to. You don't have the legacies that I've been at, appreciate at 60 years old. This is for you. Speed, gentlemen. It also goes for for uh, Betty White and anybody else out there. Yes, yes, yes. Some new stuff here. It looks like what well, this is rock and roll here and. We have some stuff here, track time artists. We have uh, Netflix and Andy Fleck, whatever, a whole bunch on here. So, but let's go to let's we're in kind of a mood. Let's go to sad. Let's get sad in the building. Let's get this one, natural light. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Uno, Blackjack, Double Deuce. This audio comes to you. Uh, you want to give me a tip? Share the audio on anywhere you're at. We always say we don't ask for care. So we appreciate anybody on Chloe's channel that comes in and listens to my voice on this cold week here in the great state of Minnesota the land of 10,000 lakes plus a couple we always are live we don't pre-record anything at all we don't ask for any kind of gear we don't have we have PayPal for the this behavior we get from Spreaker Sp- 
Spracker, Sprocker, we have never ever in the 14 and a half years of running my mouth and beaming out to people domestic and abroad, you know who you guys are, the Cowpoot Army, the Cowpoot Spaculation Sport, put some more board members this week of Spaculation Sports on. Mm-hmm. Let's open up a rock star. For those two youngsters, the Betty White and all the guys out there, a million, any family members have lost people. For you. <sighs> Godspeed, gentlemen. Godspeed. January 21st, 2022, the begging season. Is almost down to nine months. I uh, hear on YouTube for you people out there who want to ask for girl, ask for things. Getting closer and closer to tug at the strings of people. I asked for a raise, I received one. Put 750 miles on the truck this week and got a full boat. Some of, the, some of the jobs were releasing gur and money. We went down to O-Town, Owatonna. Drove all over creation. Brought some recycle in today. And a measly $755.35 was come my way. That gur goes in the pocket and gives to Ellen a C-note. Got our shirts. Paid cash. Met her at the Menards. It is what it is. Spending girl liberally. Let's go in here and write down the money and the girl and the tips. Make a lot of girl here in January and February and March and then April. Spring break. Spring babies get conceived here momentarily. But yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the one and only fee-mongering radio. Got my shirt. We're going to talk about douche, the imbecile, video games, and raised on porn, good video to listen to the audio about how people just, video games and pornography are go hand in hand this generation. I was listening to that, and there's a phrase, I guess, if they punch the girl in the, in the, knows why they're, why they're banging her and then they come on her face they call it a cherry uh, Sunday. she's bleeding with come on I just I'd heard that like wow and the lady said I'm not going to get you anymore he's 16 years old pretty interesting raised on porn gotta go listen to it let's go to the next one here rain views but anyways here in the poor side of Minnetonka, the talk in the Shadow Shady Oak Lake it's I look over to my left here and through the backyard I grew up in and on the old trail I see dogs walking and I see snows on roof and I see people skating I went over to the dollar store to get some stuff for work some plates and stuff and we got some spaghettios I'm going to microwave tomorrow went past Central Park and they had the ice rink there and there was a hockey rink and no one was there pavilion they were playing hockey and went to the dollar store and someone was being a Karen because she wouldn't put a mask on I just told her put it on shut up she looked who are you I said who are you it's a mandate put the damn thing on or leave she left the lady asked her nicely she became a Karen she said you don't like it don't come here got Chloe a toy and spent some girl my community it's not that tough the mask on but it's a solemn day today to see two guys I mean I don't, I don't know why but I know who they are I remember go see a movie epic movie hang on a minute. well he was all what's his all when coming to America Rocky Horror Picture I watched that with a cowboy hat on when I was 20 years old. I don't know, maybe 19 or 18. Uptown. Stoned out of my mind. People bringing rice in. Rocky Horror Picture. You see that in a movie theater. It's the best way to go. Best way to go. What's this one? Somewhere Fuse. But anyways, as I talk to you and we, you listen to me, we... 
Our military men in the armed forces of all the branches serve us well. We shout out to them on the videos, we shout out to them on the audios, and we thank them for their service to this country in World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And they roll into Grenada, and they roll into Afghanistan, they roll into all kinds of wars that we've been involved with Kuwait. These are an all-volunteer army except Vietnam and Korea. World War II, after we were hauled into it from Japan when they attacked us, they stormed those beaches, I've always said, and they snapped the necks, the crowds, freed the Jews. We can now speak English and troll on YouTube and yell and holler and drop the double G, say filthy little things, but uh, I guess the imbecile say, come on the show and save a troll, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Let me see here now, what the hell is this? It is what it is. I'm kind of like, wait a second. But they've... Oh, you know, what the hell? I, mean, I used to have a producer rug where I do it all myself. I'm just trying to look at some stuff here. Hang on a second. We tweet this. We tweet that. If you're a podcast, would you like to like? I don't really care. We'll retweet you anyways. I'm supposed to care. But anyways, they've stormed those beaches. And like I said, Vietnam, what the hell? But before that was Korea... It's a police action. Lost a lot of men and women. When they were called, they went. Air Force, Army, Marine, the Navy, the Merchant, National Coast Guard shed their blood in the skies, in the jungles, in the beaches, wherever they have. We thank them very, very much. They do have balls, and I mean balls the size of basketballs. And they do have ovaries the size of oak trees, students. Okay, plain and simple. We appreciate the service of this country. Without them, I mean, the man went blue too as well. They're, uh, they run the fires, and we have, they burned my city to the ground after a man was murdered in cold blood, right? Fat boy's disrespected. I don't know where he is at. Where he's MIA. Maybe he's dead. I don't know. Who knows, poor fat boy. I mean, he got a strike. I have no idea. He's hanging out with his sister in Sydney, Ohio. Where the trolls do now. But anyways, we thank them too. First responders, firefighters, 9-11 victims. Everybody out there. God bless. God bless working class. They work hard every single those jobs out there, but people don't want to work for a living. God forbid you go get a job and contribute to society. I know a few people that say they're Republicans, and I know in the real world, don't work, live off the government. One's been living with his sister for 25 years, above, literally above the garage, and he is 55 years old and refuse to get a job. Bitches about Biden, we get free gas. Nice man, but a lazy son of a obese. About 4, 10. Plays video games, and I guarantee he consumes a lot of pornography. He's like douche, hasn't seen a vagina in years. Or if he has. He always make good choices, right? It's a condom. Jeez. Put a condom on. We're having sex. Mm-hmm. Me and my wet, filthy, dirty, horny, screaming, hollering, sex, slapping the apple ass of each other, legally and fun, right? Play more about those big 34D double D tits, real ones, savage, real ones, not not surgery ones. I want the real thing. Like the Impossible Burger, wouldn't eat if you gave it to me. Put a condom on. AIDS kill your hippies last forever. Make sure it's all consensual. We always say keep the kids and out of your behavior. Elderly people, if you want to do a porn video, I don't care. Make sure everybody in the video knows what they're doing. They're all there, and they know they're not just all of a sudden a porn actress. And somebody, hey, I think I know who you are. You're a porn. What do you mean? I saw some video on RedTube. Really? You're taking up the ass. Like I talked about in the last audio, I'm a proctor shoving um, a plunge up some young man's ass. 
all the kids should be executed or in prison as their life. They should be pedophiles as their life. My will execution in 24 hours or public hangings or lop their heads off or separate garbage till you beg for the sweet release of death so please practice safe sex that's all we're asking don't use abortion for birth controls Mm -hmm. I get it it can suck sometimes I've never had no children that I know I did a lot of effing when I was young I have no idea maybe come knocking on heaven's door you are the father and your grandfather oh holy maloney Yes, who is the mother of you in the first place? Welcome to family. But also, you know, don't drink and drive. You can you can drink all you want. I mean, I don't care. I haven't been really publicly drunk in years and years. I mean, I might as well get some geef, but you're going to drink don't drive. We get the phone, call some murders. Someone like that, but we get the phone. It's all right. It was a public service. My all the board members of SPAC, of SPAC, you Lations Barts. <sighs> Just got home and took a nap today. And Chloe went poopy already. And we're going to go to Lion's Tap, one of my favorite places to chow down at. Great cheetahs. Uh, down syndrome gentleman with his sister was on the front page of yesterday about his favorite thing is cheeseburgers and I'm like yeah you're my kind of guy I love cheeseburgers I love 5-8 club I love Lion's Tap Smash Burger my burger I stock double whoppers my down's not so much Wendy's yes 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 I had some fish sandwiches yesterday at Culver's without the bun I have only had half a, only a bite of a candy bar since January 1st of 2022, so I'm really good at swearing off chocolate. Not easy. Not easy. I'm a whore for that behavior. Mm-hmm. So, been busy, like I said, making some gas at the airport and recycling things. That I, what are you doing? I took apart this huge, like a, it was a fire and a security system. I go, we have to take it apart. If they can't take it, recycling. Oh, okay. I just blow torching and separate and then brought a bunch of it in today and, you know, take it off the flatbed and out comes the money boom boom I'll go to the lights brought in uh, 90 pallets at 5 bucks a piece do the math there Gur, no one wants the pallets I pick them up flat bed them pull them off boom boom I'll go to the lights Gur. pallets I see all the time 5 bucks a crack you don't want it I will bring it in and we will spend it liberally that goes into the uh, all my recycling takes care of the uh, cabin up in Underwood, Minnesota and the uh, my mom's house down in Surprise, Arizona so it goes towards that behavior I mean it's not that one down in Surprise is not a big deal like the lady I give her money when my brother goes and has sex parties with his girlfriends I make him clean it up and I give her she watches TV and they, yeah, there's an 8 inch TV I have in there so she goes with the girlfriends and watches soaps on the 8 inch TV so that's fine she goes in there, three bedroom, and her son will stay once in a while. That's fine. I don't care. Just it's sitting there, and my bitch goes. My sister goes down there. And she is, she still has consults on her heavy equipment company, so she goes down there, and apps off, and who knows what will sell it. But it's still there. So all the recycling money pays for. I mean, the rent there is like eighty bucks a month, and the tax on it like three hundred dollars a year. What the hell it is, something like that. So whatever it may be, I don't want to say what the hell's wrong with you. No one's singing. <sighs> but it's just, you know, it's cold. A work in cold weather. Windy as hell. And, uh, I had to win my car hard, my car, car hard jacket. I've got, now I have 11 winter jackets to my a job and I have three to the B job so I have about 25 winter jackets and I only I mean during the week I work company clothes it's all I wear so I get a chance tonight you strip off and you get into something I don't know I'm wearing my cowboy's jacket whatever someone's always giving you a jacket can you wear it can you wear it you know it's like okay and they always throw a hilti hilti tools away I took home a uh couple Hilties, a power power saw, just need a battery, because when Hilties, we don't want it back, so I have all these Hilti toys in my garage, just, you get the batteries, and away they go, so, it's a beautiful
beauty of that job. They're always want to throw them away. I'll take them. Give them to somebody I know or something. My nephew's an electrician, so I always give him the Hilties. I like Milwaukee's. Bosch is good, too, as well. They're going to throw a Bosch away. There's an old hammer drill. I'll take it. I'll just put it in the garage. I'll find a home for it. Beach, please. But anyways... Yeah, it's just been, you know, a good week, a little cold. I know people, they had some snow out east, and I get it. It's, you know, it's a bitch, but uh, it's better than tornadoes and fires. I get it. I'll take snow any day in cold weather. When my car starts, and I have a starting unit that I use, I make money in that tool at the airport. And that's too, that's, what do you call this? you call this sad? Really? What the hell's wrong with you? That's sad. It's a little too fast for the cowboy. But anyways, like I said, Meatloaf passed away. And uh, a lot of good uh, dashboard lights. And um, you took the words right out of my mouth. Great song. Uh, good movie he was in. And just, he was the kind of guy you'd love to write for. I mean, if you had that, so sort I'd of love to have a, a studio and bring guys in like that. And Taylor Taylor Dane was another. She's a female that would love to write for her and create music. It's like... Kenny Rogers was always looking for music. Islands in the Stream was written by the Bee Gees. He was looking through songs and found that and said, I, I, we need a woman and Dolly Parton's down the street and the way they went, right? That's kind of, he, you know, I, I, it's not that tough to write up. I've wrote a few songs. I mean, I don't know, maybe 10, just write them a piece of paper and write down. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you write them down and people like him bring it to life. But if you had that producing ability, like, uh, what the hell are their names? Um, Prince's band, what the hell was his name? But they were they had their own facility somewhere in Minneapolis and it got sold to somebody that they I think the school went bankrupt. But it's I mean that's military not that tough to own a, open up a building I and mean, you have the money to do it and do a and produce music and I was listening to Paul Standing one day and talk about how to write music and how to put it all together and wherever else and bringing the words out and, and Elton John was like that. He would What's his name? Would give him the, the he he would he they'd give him their lyrics and he'd write. He'd, I think it's easy to write a song. I mean, I, I could I can this this right now. You can you can sing to this song. As a rapper, do they steal people's lyrics? You can sing to this song if you had to. You could just you know Dolly Parton. But um, those are the kind of guys Meatloaf. You would love to write for. And um, meet the guy. I know he had fell down in Edmonton one time, but I remember, you know, he was like, he reminded me a lot of uh, Freddie Mercury, that b- bombastic kind of stage presentation that was, uh, when I saw, I seen Meatloaf one time many, many years ago when I was like about 20 years old and just blew away me, and the same thing when I saw Ed, um, Queen when I was like, I don't know, 15 with my brother at Met. Just one of those things you just kind of like, holy Christ, because I mean, that, that's how that's how Eddie was too as well, huh, Eddie, um... I just, speaking of Eddie, I saw this video on TikTok. This lady's in Dunbar, and she just run over by a car. And I'm doing another thing. She's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Freddie Mercury, sorry. Freddie Mercury. You know, that, that stage presence of who's going to fill the shoes of these people? Who? No one. I mean, okay, you go back to Led Zeppelin. You go back to the Rolling Stones. You go back to Kiss, who I grew up with when they took the... When they took the, the makeup off, that was the dumbest thing they could have done. Even Gene said that later. It was stupid. I should have, they should have never done that. That was dumb. I mean, I've evolved this podcast. Fear mongering will always be music. Cowpole will be just me talking. I went. I have NFL podcast, Speculation Sports, right? But um, let's go real look at here on, on the statistics. Like, it's not a lot. I mean, we get... It, it, the, 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 something up to fifteen twenty over here. It depends... And uh, it's geolocations that come in um, in our mainly United States, India, very popular in India, Greece, Sweden, Chile, Germany, United Kingdom, Israel, Italy, South Korea, and Philippines. Kind of all respectfully reported. I thank you very, very much. The United States, Florida, New Jersey, Minnesota, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, North Dakota, Texas, North Carolina, Missouri, California, New York, and Virginia, and others. All respectfully come in. In Florida, obviously, it is he shall not be named. It's up to nine in the last 30 days. I've told him to give me the mix. I'll give it to Chris Ransom, but he won't do it. I told him I was out there. So New Jersey out there. The uh, United States is cl- in, uh, Ohio was Cleveland and Columbus. Someone in Addison loves me in New York. Newcastle in Pennsylvania. But uh, Breeze. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a good, good song to smoke and give to. Smoke me 
some give Yeah Smoke and give with Dave 25 The douche and the imbecile They're gonna be boxing each other Yeah Douche is gonna get his ass kicked By the imbecile I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna react to douche. I think I'm gonna react to douche momentarily. He gave, he sent me a clip. But you appreciate people on the feed, Mongrel Radio. The ad exchange. What do I have in my bank account over here on Spreaker, Spreaker, Spreaker? I have one hundred and sixty-five dollars and ninety cents. My next payment is gonna be sixty-nine dollars and sixty-three cents. Was coming my way. They put it in exactly a 31st, saying boom, boom, and then PayPal it. And we got some shirts from my favorite place. So anyways, but yes, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell, great album. Just a, just, I mean, just a bombastic guy on stage, just unbelievable. I mean, I don't know, like, like, like I said, the guy out there... Buddy Guy, who's going to fill those shoes of people in his genre of the blues, rock and roll of Kiss, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Mick Jagger and Mick are all someday pass on, move on, and who's going to fill in? Nobody, because there's no one out there that knows how to write their own song and how to entertain. Stealing people's, li- I mean, uh, licks and ticks, right? These rappers, I mean, I could just... Smoking some geef and that was a uh, breeze. That'd be a good song. Future res- residence was this one. Let me see here now. Douche is a moron. I was listening, so anyways, well, I'll get to this douche and I'll get this to. Jake and the imbecile and Jake thinking he was doxxed by day 25 because someone in the chat room said it was him. He's just, Jake, you're just being an imbecile. You're being a fool. You're being a nim- you're, you're, you're being a dingleberry. Okay? Just because when said, ah, I did me dirty. I listened to part of that. I'm like, really? Just you think it was Dave? Really? Anyways. And then also we have a local St. Paul guy, Louie, one of 11 children. And I've never met him, but I heard he was a really nice guy. He was always on KQ92. He's another guy you'd love to write jokes with. Just the way he would deliver shit. That's, I mean, that, that, that'd be a great job to have. But think about every... You have to you have to have the hecklers to think of new jokes. You go on from small town to small town to big town. That's it, but that's, you know, I mean, again, being a radio show host was, was something I always wanted to be, and it would be, I'd be a stamp comedian guy. I mean, I started doing this a long time ago, just have one person listen to me. One. And, and I heard Eddie say it one time, and so did Debbie Daly, the Herpes of Podcasting. If one piece listens, you got a dick. Mick Jagger said that. We started, and I'm not Rolling Stones, like I said, but he said, we got one fan. And then on, it just built. And that's the way it goes. And saying, I heard Paul Stanley said, we played for people, 10 people. My brother Bill says where it starts. The old days in the bar scene, right? But uh, Louis, I heard that. Louis said, I heard, I heard on the online that it wasn't good. The family was summoned to Las Vegas to say goodbye to Louis. I never saw anything in Vegas. I did want to go see him one time last year. We didn't get around to it. But he was always on KQ, and he was always um, doing all kinds of fun stuff. And then he come on there, he's just funny as hell. Always, but he always said, but somebody asked, he was with um, well, a big comedian, and some kid asked for an autograph, and he said, no. And stuck with him. He goes, I don't care how bad nude you are. He said, just sign the autograph. Just sign the autograph, you know. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, I, I've never been asked for an autograph, but if I was in on Survivor, it's been asked, yeah, sure, I'll sign it for it, I guess. You know, it's being happy to remember you, right? I mean, people are talking about both these guys on Twitter. I am. People remember Louis when they when they watch Coming to America. I mean, like I said, the guy, Pretty Woman, said he'll be remembered forever. Tom Betty, right? Who here comes my girl, right? Who doesn't like that song? Great song. I, I uh, my favorite song by Tom Petty is Runaway Train. 
Runaway Trains, whatever. That's a great song. Deep, deep. I love that. I love the video because he's got all the difference of him, Bob Seger. So it's just... Doom, doom. That's just our Louie is Louie. It's just... Sad day, but it's just, it is what it is. Betty White passed, like I said, you know, and had, what's his name passed too as well. It's just, it's just, it happens, and because you get older, people pass away. So I just, it's, it's too bad, but um, we missed, but we remembered. A Minnesotan, he is one of us. He is one of us. I mean, one of us are born here in Minnesota. You are one of us when you're born here, and you stay here, and you live here. He make it big. He never forgot St. Paul. He always came back for fun and love. I know he had problems with his, when he was on Dr. Phil one day, about having to give money to, to you know, I know about that behavior with my sister. I had to cut her out of the will because she's a bitch. That's the way she goes. She lost a, a, a small fortune. Her kids, I took a little bit, but the bottom line is mom and dad, there was a lot of whining back and forth, but it's like, you'll get what you get. I know about that behavior. But he worked for it. Why should take everybody else? He he goes out the stage, does his stuff. So the family, but he was, they want more and more and more. You know, never enough. You know what I'm saying? Go get a job, work. He created his persona. He is who he is. That's Louie. But anyways, so. God bless both you guys and people have passed as well. And like I said, it's just, it's just as time goes on, rolls on, people are going to pass away. You know, you've grown up with, no one gets out alive. We live on in our souls in heaven or hell, whatever the hell you behave, misbehave. You do pay at the door. If I was a massive murderer, right, or I'm hurting children, whatever I'm doing, right, I've been accused of that behavior, you know. Of, Promoting or whatever else, and I had he shall not be named. Called me a pedophile not once. Some people do when I first started podcasting. You sound like a pedophile. I'm like really, you know, because they didn't like me, or whatever. And that's what they do. They devalue you on that behavior. And what's the name of Sweet said that's a gut punch. No, it's not a gut punch to me. I know who I am. Okay, and you want to devalue somebody? That's what they do. That's the first thing they go after. Is either you're a rapist or you're a, a predator or whatever. That's what they always do. I mean, if you're a woman, you're a hoe, right? Future Remises. I love piano. I learned a little bit, a little piano as young. I love piano. I, I learned to play it by sound. A very good friend of mine, me and Jackie were friends with him, and he played by sound. He was the best piano player I've ever known, and she was a very good drummer. We always said we had a band we called Lover Boy because the Outlaws had a song called Lover Boy. We thought that would be our band. I couldn't sing. I mean, I could I could play some um, guitar a little as I learned it, but we would call ourselves Lover Boy. It was something we talked about in school. We were smoking dope. Then Lover Boy comes out, and Jackie goes, "God, our band! Like, what is your Lover Boy?" And she put the put the new. We had listening parties in the third floor bathroom. We did that. We'd smoke Keith, Loverboy, Molly Hatchet, Bob Seger, all those bands back in the 80s. We would listening parties. And we put the albums in. So Loverboy was our favorite band. I mean, just because that was our, our name. But, you know, whatever. That's the way it goes. Because <laughs> Loverboy, Outlaws have a song. Hey, Loverboy. Loverboy, Loverboy. That'd be the name of our band. We'd love the Outlaws. So we had listening parties. The old days up in the third floor bathroom at West Junior High. Smoking Geef. The old days was good marijuana. Innocence, though, was back in the old days. Having good old fun. Just good old times. No one getting arrested. No one doing anything stupid. Just good music, good times, good dope, good friends, playing sports. Old people called us stoners and everything else. We grew up, moved on. Those guys, a couple of guys were in jail and dead because they thought we were stoners. I get it. We had, I had long hair and plastic my shoulders. I was a hippie. Sooner you grow up and get fat and lose your hair, right? So here we go. Where did he send it to me? And let's. Jake did a video too as well. So here we go. Dave Douche. Let's listen to Douche. Shall we? Back Dave 25. Mm-hmm. And today I was issued a challenge by the Steel Toe Show. Steel Tide. You mm-hmm. say you want to box me? Uh-huh. Box a clown. And I'm going to be wearing this. Douche. 
You get your ass whipped. That's all there is to it. They're in the fight. Mm-hmm. For Heather Lee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pink tape yep. on my wrist. Yeah. Uh-huh. See, right, right here and right now, douche doesn't have fat boy to troll. So right now, you're his food. For Heather Lee. Here, maybe, maybe next time, douche already have the stuff on your wrists. Okay. All right. Hang on. He's just screwing around here. It's just if you're gonna do this challenge, maybe sit in the chair like I'd sit back, box, look in the camera. He's standing in the basement of his, of his father's house or his dad's house, stepmom, whatever. Come on, get to it. So now he's, so now he's he's he's, he's standing there showing his wrists. This is really a, a really a, an epic video. So I'm gonna be training. Uh huh. With who? Quite clearly. Aaron versus myself mm-hmm. and you. I'm coming to St. Cloud. Mm-hmm. You better have a plane ticket. No, 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 no. Why don't you just pay your own supper? Why don't you just come in a Greyhound bus, like I always say, oh, and document your uh, the trip in the Greyhound. I'll pay for your Greyhound in St. Cloud. Aaron, he's harmless. First class. Mm-hmm. There mm-hmm. and back, round trip. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And... You, you, I have been in first class more times than you can count. Not a big deal. It isn't a real big deal. You get free alcohol, which I'm a big drinker. You just arrive one second earlier. I, just give me basic with the with the cattle. I'm 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 sorry. I've been upgraded before. They come once in a while and ask if we want. If who, why don't I go? Go ahead, Swell. Go ahead. I don't really care. Cause show up a drink. I don't care. Only accepting this under one condition. What's that? You have to pay me at least a thousand dollars for the fight. Oh come on! What are you What are you talk? You've never seen a thousand thousand dollars douche you've never seen you wouldn't know what to do with the girl i made today this man got fired from pizza because he was put taking the five dollar coupons and and, then pocketing the money that could be slander it could be the truth i don't know so right now Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm I'm going to start the training. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, first, let, he's, he's lifting weights. He's, he's lifting weights. Okay, first, let's stop eating pizzas, Burger King. Get a real job, maybe work in construction. Get some muscle, okay? All right? Quit watching pornography and playing video games and living in the basement and get a real job. Look at this, look at this. It's funny. He's lifting weights real slow. See, I'd be in my chair going with, with the muscles. I'd be like real close with my muscles. Look, I'd, go, I'd have no. I'd be like, look at this muscles right here. So can you uh, do you work out, Aaron? You say you do. <laughs> I it's 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 God. It's just, oh my God. It's just. Oh my God. Yeah. Weights. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A nice workout chair, yeah. workout bench mm-hmm. that I can hold. Yeah. Uh, um, 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 I guarantee it. His his father paid for that. Okay, douche has never paid rent in his life, and has never seen a vagina in his entire life. He was born to a certain section, and he knows it. You know, mm-hmm. I got weights. Do you? Mm-hmm. This next one is four more weeks. I'll turn to punk. Okay, if, you, if you're going to be if you, listen, listen, douche, douche. If you're going to be doing this. You have to learn. You have to learn to speak and point in the camera, look in the camera like I do. If you're gonna troll and trigger, okay? Jesus. Still listening, weights. Puts it down, looking her over his head, looking at the camera. He's rubbing his nose. Silence is not good, okay? Now he's acting like he's boxing. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna hit you with the yeah, uh-huh. Good Money Mayweather. Yeah. Uh-huh. You don't even know who in the hell he is. Oh my God! It's just it's just embarrassing. He's acting like he's 15 years old, and I'm and I'm the big bully in the neighborhood, and he's threatening me. This is this is just hilarious. This is this is this is video gold right here. Someone you got to take this video and put it up to music or something. Some really like evil music. I I, I command whoever's out there. Just draw him. Just 
Make fun of this video. Oh my goodness. This is fun. The one two combo? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Yeah. You want to square up with me? Yeah. Square oh, up with oh, yeah. Sure. Animal? I'll arm wrestle you. Oh, yeah, okay. You're what, 36 years old? I'm 24. <laughs> and live with your father. In my prime, unlike yourself. <laughs> I fucked the bitch hotter than your wife. Yeah. Eight out of 10. Oh my god. How about trying ten out of ten? Oh my god, I, I can't go on. That was not, that was a putting stand of that behavior right there. That was funny. That was that was absolutely epic. Douche, douche. <sighs> That's just hilarious. I knew I knew Aaron would say, "Come on," and he wouldn't come on. He's not gonna come on the show and save Charles. No way. There's no way he comes on. There's no effing way. No way, baby boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. There he is right there. But it's, it is what it is. It's just hilarious. It makes me laugh. It makes me giggle and cackle. I've been fighting with Aaron Immel for a good year. When he got fired for dropping the double G with the Heather Ling lady, and then, you know, and then he had his white hats do it. He tried to strike my channel when I went after him. And, you know, and then the, the 8 out of 10, you know, um, April is, is wiped by convenience. He's behind a, behind a paywall over there. I don't know if he still have to have a, a sub, sub, subscription to listen to the Steel Toad Tard Show. I really don't. Unless, I mean, they'll, I always get texts. I get stuff from... Uh, Jake and him all the time. I don't want to waste my bandwidth. I listen to a lot of podcasts on Spreaker. I listen to a lot of videos and audios when I'm driving around my truck when I have time, right? But I tell me the airport. I have very limited time to listen to stuff. You know something that's enough of this behavior. Let me see here. It's two minutes. A little, little longer, then I'll just put on something else. It kind of goes from song to song. So I'll tell, I'll tell the Nimrod, right now you're his fresh kill, you're his fresh meat. He has nothing better to do. Fat boy is probably dead uh, in the hospital. Maybe he got a strike on his channel. I have no idea what's going on with Fat Boy in Sydney, Ohio. I, 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 Fat Boy's entertaining. He's the only one to listen live to because I'm not going to listen to the whole because he's the best between his the one minute mark up to like the 20, 25 minute. He rants about something, then he just loses consciousness and moves on. He's the best at that behavior. There's not a lot of live stream. I, I, I will pop him on Fridays. I listened to him today for a little bit because I guess he called in and, and trolled him, but it was just, they were just him and the uh, bomb show where it's like, but I, I'm not going to listen to a four hour show. I'm not going to do it. This I give you two hours. Music's in the thing. I'm, I talk to people that come to me and say, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a nobody. You know, I'm a. I'm a I'm just a moronic idiot that speaks about people and music in the background and, you know, cruise right along. I don't do these. I've done three hours, but I do four or five hour streams and sit there and talk and talk to my chat room. <laughs> you know, hi, hi, what are you doing, honey? What are you doing? All these, you know, it's your best friend or whatever else. So it's like, no, you don't know these people. You're not talking to anybody. You're not in a bar talking to somebody. So that's always just talking in their chat rooms. It's like, Jesus Christ. But that's just the way it is on this video platform of YouTube. You know, just looking at the chat room, speaking and trolling right along, right? Let me go over here real quick here. Let's go with Vital Whales. Let's go with this. Let's go here, Vital Whales. Here we go. Four and above. We'll just go. This is like four minutes. And just kind of roll right along. What like this one? This one's this one good. One. This one's good. What like this song? This is good. Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. This, I've done so much, a few of my uh, videos. It's got a good song, a good uh, beat to it. But anyways, but I'll just tell the imbecile. You know, he's out there. He'd never call the show, call the show. I mean, I've called Corey, but Corey has no idea how to talk on the show. I was trying to explain something yesterday, but uh, I don't know. It is what it is. But if you have to ask for money, if you have to ask for money, you have to ask how much it costs. You can't afford it, right? I would look at my dad always told me. I walk into the store. 
I bought a Dallas Cowboys um, calendar today for a dollar. It was in the dollar bin. I just put it up on next to my desk. The Cowboys. It's right next to my Dallas Cowboys little thing I bought for a dollar in my garbage can. That, a couple of Sewer fans I work with and a couple of Packer fans and Viking have just have put garbage in it left and right and uh, all kinds of behaviors. My poor garbage can is being destroyed, but she's holding up. I knew it was going to happen. Well, bastards. Got all five rings on it. It's a gorgeous garbage can. They're ruining it. Bastards. God bless the Dallas Cowgirls. The criminals. Mm-hmm. It's a good smoking geef, too, right? I love when I just do this uh, shows and it's just so you're just sitting here just smoking. You know, if I could just smoke, what's this? What, tomorrow, what's this? I guess what's the think he's going to be on Twitch with him. Uh, Aaron, Aaron's not going to be on your effing Twitch, okay? He ain't called no show. He's not chance to call no show, bitch, please. But I would just tell, uh, 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 show, what's your channel? I'll show you my ch- bubbles. I'll show you my, I'll show you my channel. There's my channel. I love retweeting people's stuff. It's hilarious. I love doing that because then they, you, you tweet out the bots, they retweet your stuff. I've been getting some, getting some leg room on my stuff. It's pretty funny. It's pretty hilarious to do it. So, boom. But I, I would just tell the imbecile, you're just fresh meat for Dave 25. It's always to it. You're just fresh meat. It's always to it. You know, he's trolled me. I've trolled him. He's in the board directors. And it's like, he he's, doesn't live, he live, he doesn't pay rent. He doesn't do what I do. He doesn't work. For Christ's sake. He's harm. He's a harmless troll, just like with Jake the Snake. You know, these people have nothing better to do. He loves the drama. He's like an, or you're like an orgasm to him. You and your wife, a fake wife, whatever you want to call her, convenience girl. I mean, she's a hot piece of ass. I mean, wrong. I mean, I wouldn't kick her off for being eating donuts. I mean, I would let her read the want ads, the, the, the Craigslist in my bed anytime. You know, I mean, holy shit. The only balls is the basketball, right? But it is what it is. But he's just, that's just douche. He, he was all excited today when he called in. He called me. I called him. You know, saying stuff to you. Just just let him come on and have his fun. He'll have his orgasm. And he'll come down from his orgasm. Because right now, Fat Boy's not. So he has nothing better to do. It's all he's doing. He's chowling you. You want these people in your chat room. But it, you know, it, it, I'm just going to tell the, 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 the imbecile. You, you're not going to. I mean, so you haven't made it on Twitch. You haven't done anything. It's not a big deal. Just podcast nothing more, nothing less. I mean, I get what my money a month. So what? I get money and a paycheck. Both jobs I get paid on Fridays. Whatever I get from my uncle when I get a check from either one of them, Rugburn or Louie, right? His name is Louie, my uncle. Car guy. Whatever I do for him, I get like a nice check. I'm LLC'd. But uh, trying to think you're going to make it on YouTube or make it on Twitch. There's 2 million podcasts out there. Look, what's that streaming service is, is, is uh, low or down because it's too much to consume. What the hell is that one? What is that one? Oh, God, what's it called? Whatever it's called. These stream movies, I can't remember. They're down because people do other things. And people are going to listen to me. I'm not going to get discovered. You know what I mean? It, it, before, you had to be... Um, for the imbecile, you had to have a... Uh, to, to listen to after the fact, you had to have a uh, prescription. Prescription. A sub, you know? You can listen to this garbage whenever you want. Whenever you please, right? It's right there for you. Pop it on, laugh, giggle, cackle, piss and moan, whatever. Smoke your marijuana. It's in your ears. You can listen to this with your headset on without me cussing too much. Talk about whatever's in the goddamn town. I don't... I don't you know, I don't... I mean, I've talked about... Uh, what the hell's her name again? Um... Miss F. Wonderful. I don't know where she's at now these days. You know, Savage has probably got something else to do. I think she's into something else. You know, that was her favorite, you know, person to talk about. That that crazy woman, right? It is. I mean, look at look at Sven Johnson. He even said he loves the the the, uh, the podcast because he's easy to listen to. He can sit in his fourth floor of the apartment or look in the alley and, uh, you know, listen to me ramble on, mention he shall not be named. 
I said, oh, he labels me a pedophile, calls back and apologizes. It was a great, it was a great gesture. And then turns drop time two days later and accuses me again, very, very uh, pissed off. And he, you know, dropping the double G. And the person didn't like it for saying it, hangs up. people drop the double G, which is just a double standard. It's what it is. It's just, it's just, you know, claim you have a grandson that's of color, but you're gonna hang up. People love to yell it out, and you know, it's like okay, double standards. But uh, I can't help that. What people do. You know, what are you gonna do? But I just think it's hilarious. With a douche and him on the box, that's 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 pretty funny. I think that's pretty hilarious. That's you're gonna get your ass whipped. And I, and I can the imbeciles and all the imbeciles an openly gay married man. The first we all know that. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, come on, man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know when's the last time he's actually had a had a job. You know, let's tweet at this guy for fun. Let's see what happens. Some YouTuber, I guess. Twenty guy. Twenty gay, twenty thousand dollar, thirty thousand dollar millionaire, thirty thousand dollar millionaire. Where is the thirty thousand dollar? But I just, it just, I mean, there's drama, drama. You know, Tina D and all these other idiots on here that just continue and continue and continue. When you don't get out of the house, you don't do anything. And Dave did his mundane troll job, whatever he does, and. You know, hanging out, you know, early uh, every roll. This one is dramatic. But I just find it funny. But I'm just going to tell you, imbecile, don't worry about Dave. He's just nothing better to do. He's a drama whore. He just, he loves behavior. He just loves behavior. Loves it. You may open up a movie, kill scene. Like I've always said, tells me the other day if I have six months to live and Sue Ellen's gone, I have 30 people on the list, YouTube and my real life, that it will be executed with a sniper rifle. I already have a sniper rifle. Scoping one out, speaker or not. I have a guy uh, in Hopkins that put me on to one. I will seek revenge. I told him the other day that in a conversation with a YouTuber. Six months to live. Great great movie. Slowly executing people one at a time. We will start with living in the 612. You can be in anyone's house in 36 hours. All over the world. It is what it is. I'll be at the gates of hell sooner or later, but they'll all join me and be jumping in the fire together. You first. But anyways, then Jake the Snake, I guess. So he is on a live stream and someone pops in and puts his address in. Hey, my address is put out there. And we can find somebody. I would never do it to anybody. No one never do it to anybody. People take this up off stream. They love to do that kind of behavior and they get pissed. But you can't do it to them. He or she, whoever does that stuff. You know, Savage does that crap. All people do it all the time on here. But that's just execution. Clear and present danger. Look it up what it means. Snipe to the head while you're at the dinner table or maybe out in your car. Front yard. Let the bodies hit the floor, right? Let the bodies hit the floor. How far would you go for your family? I'll go to the gates of hell I've talked before. No matter who you are, your wage will help. My sister's perpetrator walker's a limp. A scar for his behavior with my sister. Bosco is now 19 and a half pounds. 19 and a half pounds, aren't you, Bosky? You're a big, fat boy. He's a big one. So, Jake the Snake was doing a show to save a trowel. And 
someone popped in. It, it could have been me. It could have been Tina D. It could have been anybody. And said, yo, yo, yo. And put his address out. So he thinks because it's day 25. I, 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 I don't, I mean, I could go into his chat room as, as Aaron Imwell and put his address in there and say, hey, it's me, you know. Uh, just because I just I, and Dave's an idiot but Dave's not dox people okay I'm shocked because I know his address I gave him stuff that I didn't give it to him right same kind of behavior right Jake you just you cannot believe, but remember it's not a lie just as long as we believe the truth you read it you believe it you repeat it right Jake you read it believe it. it's like fat boy does it all the time he reads in the chat room believes it, and repeats it it happens all the time on this video platform they read it they believe it I mean people think that Viagra now can save um, um, Corona people are dying of Corona and I I know Howard Stern got got was was caught with all the wanted the shot I give I give him credit call these morons out I mean I'm not a big fan of Howard Stern, but he was getting. I don't blame the guy. And I totally agree. If you're, if you, you, you should. If you don't get the shot, you're last in line. If you didn't get the shot, you're last. Well, you'll wait in a gurney. You don't have these people that don't that don't that uh, don't have the shot. You're not. You're not. You'd be. It is what it is. I totally agree with Howard Stern. He'd be cool to have on the show, but I mean, I didn't come on my show. I doubt it. But it'd be fun to be on serious. But you, the imbecile will never be on. Will never be on. Never be on serious. Never in his life. The double G is what he wants to say. And he's, you know, I mean, his listens are down. Oh, he used to be. I mean, I don't want to listen to your live. Doubt it. I mean, but what's totally going to call in 50 total? My NFL podcast break out at 300, and I'll take that. I mean, I will take it for the NFL podcast. I will take it. I work for a living. I have a real job. My, my paychecks. I don't ask for anybody. I don't ask for any money. Like I said, I never went into podcast to make money. I just told this breaker was, I was monetized and so was YouTube and they said you got to make an account or you're not going to lose your money. So never went into it to make money. I'm famous with my wife. I'm famous at my jobs. Reliable. I'm an old man. I get the job done. Go to work every day. Recycle. Cut cars in half. Take station wagons. Put buckets in them. And you drill holes and there's an ice fish house. You can drive on the goddamn lake and go fishing. Take an old Pontiac station wagon. And you can go fishing it. I can do that. And I've done that. But some people I'm listening to, they listen to me, don't know that about how to read a blueprint. Go get a job. Go to Burger King, McDonald's, Walmart. I don't care. Stand a post. Put in the economy. Protect the country. You know, you take, 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 take. And it's not just here. It's domestic and abroad. People just don't refuse to work for a living because they want the free money, the free guy, right? Sitting on Twitch talk in your chat room hoping people give you money that's sad again you're supporting people I can, this room is pitch dark I can barely see Bosco let me see his white you better start me out at the door because I'm not getting up get your sister he's looking down at the door so she probably is there because he's looking down at the door so she's probably on the other side scratching because she knows he's there he's looking down at it like do I dare Meow. So Sue Ellen will get up, walk down the hallway, open the door, because he's looking up at the thing to wait for it to turn. Because she'll go down there and look. So he's waiting. That's how it works. Chloe is scratching the door. I know she is, because he's looking down at her and she's probably crying. Sue Ellen will put down her knitting. Boss has got to go potty or something to eat. Right box with the Costco kitty. Found him behind Costco in a box. Skinny little boy. Replacement for Kobe the kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Eaten by a coyote, which I took out with a pellet between the eyes. Assassinated the bastard. This next one is Thin Places. This last one was early of our girl. But anyways, that trolling going on and, you know, the drama is the drama, drama, drama. I just, you, know, you, you kind of fall, but you don't. It's a waste of time. I mean, I'm surely don't give two Fs about Tina D, that little biatch who gave drugs, Adderall to children. And people still like this when Children. Killed. Run. You understand me? Drugs to children. Wouldn't be any near that woman. That woman... 
that deserves to be executed in that community. Or she, are you giving drugs to children in your community? Are you kidding me? What the hell's wrong with you? As a drug dealer, belongs in jail. <laughs> really? I'm going to start walking. Hey, Jake. So there's Jake. He's in the building. I tell, I tell you what, Jake. Feel free to call the show. It's not Dave Doxon. He's just some troll. You're looking like a total moronic idiot. You hear me? A total moronic idiot thinking it's him because he said it. I could have been this. I could have been the one. Hey, me, it's Calpo. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I would do it a public apology. Just because they said it's Dave doesn't mean it's him. Okay? You look like an imbecile and a fool. Okay? This is stupid. I just don't understand. I know I get it. You're alone, whatever else. I don't rip on your ass, but just it's stupid. Sitting there, sitting there doing it. That's just, here's, that's just dumb. Oh, do a fish. Whatever the hell this is. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna share you. Whatever the hell this is. I'm going to share something for you. Whatever the hell that is. I'm going to share something for you. We're going to share it on there. But anyways, I think you're, uh, you're looking awful stupid thinking it's um, Dave is uh, um, doxing you just because someone said in the chat room, you look like you look like fat boy. You look like half these idiots because they, they see it and they believe it. So I'm just telling you. I know Dave is a, like herpes. He's like a AIDS. He's just a moron, but he's not doxing you. Your address, you, you don't know where you live. You probably Google your name and find it. People put my address out there. I guess it's out there, but I would never put in anyone's address in a chat room. You can find it. And you can find that behind behavior. I get it, but... I mean, I, I would never do that. But I, mean, I, I still have codes from Blog Talk of people, ten that people have no longer were no longer podcasting. Someone called me the other day and said, "Hey, do you still have mine?" I said, "Yes." Really? They go, "Yeah, I still have it." I'd never do it to anybody. I would never. But people do that all the time. That's what they do. They dox people, and then when it comes back, they get pissed. That's what they do. But Jake, you look like a total imbecile because you think it's Dave. You think, okay? Grow up. Grow some balls. Find some job you got to do to keep yourself busy. Okay, you gotta you gotta find something to do, Jake. You have to find something to do to keep yourself busy. I'm just telling you. Sitting in the double wide, wearing the same clothes, doing nothing at all. Gonna get you. I love you, man. I love you like like a son, man. I think you're a, you got a heart of gold, but you've really got to deviate from this YouTube behavior. You got to find something else to do. So just quit your bitching. God. So anyway, that's enough of that. You know, Meatloaf, Louis Anderson, God rest, St. Paul guy, Meatloaf, bat out of hell. So I watched a video, well, listened to a video, Raised on Porn. It's a 35-minute audio I, a video. I, I listened to the audio. And it said a lot of things in there. The one, like I said, they, they call it a, a cherry Sunday, whatever. He, he punches the girl in the nose and comes on her face. That's they call it. That's this guy at Saw. And they've said before, I have said before, Red Tube, Pornhub are all what kids grow up on now what what sex is they think it's all about the guy's crank and then the woman coming in her mouth right it's all that behavior i mean i get slapping the apple ass and a consensual hard filthy little sex but i mean i don't know how it turned you on look at fat boy he was watching rape stuff his, his youngest daughter was taught looking over his pornography Gigi, right i never saw it but i was told but that's what it is. I get it. You know, I mean, sex education is supposed to be from the parents, whatever else. But I'm not surprised. They go on Red Tube, they go on Pornhub, they go on YouPorn, and they watch videos. They're 15 and they think they expect with some chicks to go down on you. Like I said, Savage, I could get, let's say, her and, let's say, uh, Amberly Ambrosia, whatever. That redhead I saw uh, on TikTok. She's going to be a pornography uh, adult girl, right? And there was another girl that uh, was in it, and she told how it had happened. I told the douche. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. Who do you have? He had that Maxwell chick do his recruiting. So if I'm out recruiting, if I Savage works for me, right? She's my recruiter, and I need I need 21 year old girls to do lesbian porn. She goes out and says, "Hey, you know, we have this uh, smashing um, um, smashinggash.com. We want some girls to do some uh, lesbian porn. They'd be more asked to talk to her than talk to me." That's what you use to recruit girls over on TikTok and they like to show their goods and whatever else. And I, I get it. I understand. I'm a meat and potato pornography kind of guy. I mean, I get it. People want to watch that behavior. But people, it, it, it was a very... Go listen to it. It, it raised on porn. I mean, just, then they had another seven minute, two minute video of these guys. Yeah, you, just, you meet them at the beach and you screw them. And, oh, well, no big deal. Yeah, you get AIDS or herpes. You follow the child. The women are like, yeah, it's, it's the way it goes. I'm like, yeah, okay. When you get pregnant and you hold the groceries, you give the spring baby a life in October or November so you get to abort it. But it's, it's a very, I mean, it's just, in the porn addiction, I, I get it, but if you, if you can't have no self-control, 
You know, I don't know. Like, there was that one singer that talked about she was watching porn when she was 13 years old. It's easy to find, but your smartphone, what's your kids watching? There was some kid that accessed it at some school. And they thought they had they, they thought they had a block. I know you don't. There's so much out there. And that's how they hook them. They hook the kids young. But you have to watch what your kid is watching, he or she. You know, they're playing video games. Their life is all about they really don't have, their life is they think it's what they they think their life is on video games. I get playing asteroids and pinball machines and they all think they're rock stars. They're all watching uh, Red Tube and watching other behaviors and you don't like two men having sex, I get it. That's gay sex. If I'm going down, I mean, I'm I'm a gay guy, I guess. You know, doing it, you don't like it, I get it. But if you're, you can't watch two women have sex. That's lesbian sex. I mean, not like what I'm telling you, but it's true. I get, I get, I get meat and potatoes pornography, and I understand it. But we keep the kids, and I was all like, I always talk about. You execute people that are drug dealers and pornographers like that that do that kind of behavior. You'll, you'll, if you start having that public hangings of people and, and we're lopping heads off for distributing uh, inappropriate behaviors, you would end it tomorrow. But it's just too easy to access on your smartphone, your kids. And that's the, they expect that some chick is just going to walk in like, you know, the pizza thing. You're the, you're, you're the pizza delivery guy, and the chick opens the door, and within two minutes she's down on you, right? or the uh, stepmother, and you're the stepson, or whatever. That kind of behavior goes on. Those kind of scenarios go all of a sudden. The kid's been watching since 15 years old. The dad remarries, and they expect the, the hot mom to go down on That's what they expect, if you get my point. That's what, that's what they expect. It's a fact. It was a very, it's a very, very good video of distributing. But it was everything you were saying, I'm like, I've talked about it. I've told that to douche. Uh oh. Now, she, now she's really going out the door. Now he's kind of hiding on the corner. So he's kind of escaped to the uh, to the other side of the door because she's scratching at the door. So that means all of a sudden now, there it is. Now she's in. And chases him out. <laughs> go, up, Mama. Get out of here. Get, get. Go chase your brother. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> he hid around the corner, and then when she came strumming in, he ran out the door. That was funny. That was hilarious. Blue Pearl. The Blue Pearl. Oh, this one's good. That was funny. <laughs> he could hear her coming, so he, uh, <laughs> he ran around the corner. <laughs> that was funny as hell. That was hilarious. And he knew it was coming. He knew he, he could hear it. But it was, it was, it was an interesting video. He got really recommended to me, and I, I, I listened to it because they did everything on there. There's, it's taught one guy had, had, you know, ruined his marriage, whatever else, and you know, whatever he expected, and it's just the way it is. People play video games all day, whatever Warcraft, these things, and I mean, I, I like helicopters. I know I just can't fly a helicopter around and start shooting people. I, I love playing uh, um, Desert Storm. <laughs> My favorite one to play. Super Nintendo. He comes down, we plug that sucker in, and I start flying that thing around like the old days, and I go, I go directly to the final thing. What are you doing? I said, I'm going to see if I can. You know. I I just screw around, and then you go over the other one, and you go over uh, urban warfare. Or warfare, you you over San Francisco, just blowing things up left and right in a helicopter. I get that, but my reality is I'm done. They can't decipher between watching a video of some chick going down on a guy who's a you know the stepmom or whatever, or flying around a helicopter, shooting things out of the sky, and going, "Oh my God!" Silent scope, snapping the sniping the guys. I mean, yeah, I could, I want to do that someday in real life, but it's it's not. It's going to be an everyday occasion, but I understand that's how you you take someone's life. You got you got to pay the price, right? But but it's just I get it. The video games, it's just it's fun. I get it. But there's also real life. It's you know we have um, E here. She was playing when we were playing that one bowling one the other day. I get that. In virtual reality, we were doing some bowling the other day, and that was kind of fun, you know. And that's fun. I mean, we want to get those masks. I think we want to get those. But my reality is walking on the lake with her, Shady Oak Lake. When it's snowing, us. it's starting to snow right now. We're gonna get some. Uh, I think I don't know one to two, whatever. That's my reality. We're gonna go out and have dinner together and do something together. Spend money, right? Put my jacket on. Go do something. Get up in the morning, two o'clock. Go to work. While you're listening to this, after the fact, you'll be trolling all night long. Sun goes down. Listening to some low, long four-hour stream. Oh boy, you know. You know, I knew he wouldn't come on. I knew I knew he wouldn't come on. I mean, he 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 claims he's gonna be on. He's gonna be on. Uh, he's gonna be on. Um, what's his name? He's not gonna come on. No way. Not a chance. But uh, I've just I've laughed and I've cried. So it's just it's just kind of hilarious. And I, I just I laugh. Then you cry.
I mean, TikTok is another place where when you go, let me go to TikTok real quick here and go to TikTok and um, look at uh, oh, what's this? That four messages here started following you. Who cares? Started following you. Whatever the hell it is, I have no idea. But if you go to the uh, the live page, go look at the live. Everyone's at the live page. Okay, there's right now it's there's. 6,400 lives right now on this other guy. Um, 470 views on the comic vibe. This one chick, 1.2 live right now. She's watching. Hey, Jade. Uh, one viewer on another one, but um, you are awesome. 183. That's what everyone's over on TikTok. Watching people. 820 in a chick. Her boobs are hanging out. I get it. Six viewers on this other chick. Um, m- m- Mick Groin, but I mean, you look at the live page here. Everyone's over one viewer. Some African American chick. <laughs> I guess like my stuff. Seven hundred thirty-three viewers on another guy, right? Um, the other ch- that's that's where the live versions are at. That's where they're all over here. That's that's everything over here. You know, I mean, it's four point two on, on this one chick. Got a nice ass showing herself. Okay, so with si- a guy's got sixty views. All the women have. There's just two of yours. One here, two here. 10,000.6 Baby Melissa Mala is live Oh I know who she is She's gorgeous She's gorgeous Sarah No no live streams None um, Stop her she 455 but That's where all the live streams are at That's where everyone's at Just hanging out One viewer uh, Comedy St. Louis, Florida Two But uh, It's just I mean, Some five Three or four But that, everyone's over on Over on TikTok Live streaming that's where they're all up. You can't hold it back. I mean, you could probably tape it somehow and put it up on your YouTube channel. Somehow you probably do it. But everyone's over there streaming. You know what I'm saying? Another chick, what's cracking? 800 video. But you look at all these people on here. There's a ton of people on here. Ton. Ton of people. Let's chill. Ask me a question. One live. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm just, it's just what everyone's at. That's where it all is. I'm over there on, over on TikTok and I get my little videos I put up. So she's looking. She's looking at the view she's looking at it is anybody asking me questions you're the only there's no one I have me watch but I can't hear you saying you look in the camera <laughs> that's worse than me but it's just funny she's she's looking at the camera hoping someone will will say something to her you know someone will, someone will talk to her down below you know what I'm saying oh my goodness it's just let's see over on blog talk no chat rooms open none okay that just shows how bad it is over here yeah let's see Disaster awareness, note by note, working January. I mean, there's, you have to open your chat room if you want to be. You want people. If you want people to talk to you. Don't. No one. Dan the man will be back. Sports radio. Free for all Friday. Christian show. Truth of Corner with Marlon. Sports show with what the hell is D's recruiting in college, high school. Let me see. No one Dan the Man's back. What the hell's this? Welcome to the podcast half earlier. I don't know when Dan will be back. Who knows? I don't know. I don't bother. I probably can't even articulate, but it's there's not much on. <laughs> but it, TikTok is where it's all at. That's that's where it's all at, sweetheart. That's where it's all at. That's where everyone that's where everyone's at. TikTok. Listening. But uh, it was just interesting to, uh, to, uh, I don't know if I should call it douche. He won't, you know, he won't uh, call the show, call the show. He won't, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to call it douche. He'll hang up on me. He probably will. He's active now. I want to call it douche before we head out. We'll see what he has to say about his behavior. You know he won't come on. He'll he'll be chicken. He'll get he'll get locked while you watch. He's too chicken to come on the show and save a child. Come on, douche, douche, douche. He won't come on the show. He's too chicken. He's too chicken. He might call back. We'll see what happens. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. But he won't do it. But I just that raised on porn. Very good video. Disturbing, but it's what I've been talking about before. Oh my God, that's the way it happens. No, you don't punch a woman and then come on her face. You don't do that and give her a cherry uh, Sunday. You don't do that. I, I, I guess you can throw uh, strawberries on if you want, then then do it. I guess, but you don't need to punch a girl. You know, you don't need l- love for blood, whatever. I just I've never heard of that before. I'm like really, 
wow but I don't know what are you what are you gonna do huh I mean it just blows me away when I hear here we go douche walk in the show walk in the show is Sarah Demol on no just you I played your video back I ridiculed you welcome to the audio what's going on What's going on? So you, I, I, I really killed your, your little video there, your, your obese body dancing around there, and it was, it, it was pretty epic to a lot, too much silence, standing, looking down at the camera. Don't you know how to look in the camera like I do and just simply show your muscles or something? What's wrong with you? I mean, so you want to beat up? Uh, you explained there. Yeah, yeah, you, okay, you, you've been fired from uh, uh, taking five dollars off off of pizzas. I, you, I'll yeah, pay, I'm, I'm working out. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll pay your I'll pay your Greyhound. I'll, you're not going to be flying first class. You know where the airport is, okay? Greyhound your ass or your oh, muscle. You, know you don't know where the air. You've never been on a plane. You've never been on a plane. You do? Do you have a passport? But I have been on a plane. Do you know? Do you have? Do you have a passport? No, I can get one. You have to have a passport. You're a sword. You know it, don't you? What? Yeah. I, 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 you have to have a passport to get to Minnesota. You know it, don't you? It's slander. <laughs> You'd probably believe that. What? I would just give you Greyhound bus. I'd just give you a Greyhound bus ticket if I'm him. If you're T-bomb, if you're T-bomb. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. We're not talking about T-bomb. See, ladies and gentlemen, he's in love with T-bomb because quite clearly he's ignored him, so now it's T-bomb. But I told Aaron the imbecile, right now you're his food because fat boy is MIA. Would you not say? Would you not agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah right now, Aaron is your food that you like to consume, right? You like to consume him. You, I, I, not as much as you do. I make fun of the guy. I don't sit there and do it. I do videos by looking at the camera and making fun of the guy. I'm not standing there 10 feet away from the camera with the dog with the camera looking like you're like you're 14 years old taking a run at Pickle Boy. Well, I'm just owning them. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the guy. Yeah, okay, so okay. You have no idea what triggering. It's not pulling a gun trigger. You have no idea what triggering is. Yeah, the guy is so easily triggered. Oh, my God. This, 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 is, this is the man that smoked. How much geef do you smoke a week? How much geef? He doesn't pay rent. He has no car, no car payment. So how much money do you spend on marriage? How much money do you spend? A hundred bucks, a hundred bucks a week does, a hundred, does not count. My car payment is eight hundred dollars. Liar, liar. It's a bold face lie. Bold face, bold face, bold face liar. You know it. Uh, Jake, Jake swore you off. He said that uh, you doxed him. He said he's uh, he's you did him bad. He said he said you, I told him he came in the room. He he said you did him bad. So, I know, but he thinks you did it bad. But you believe it, you read it, you repeat, repeat it, right? So, who's going to be your corner man? You get ever James Hubbard, or are you going to get quite clearly, or what are you going to get? Wait, for what? For your boxing match, who's your corner man? Corner? You got to have a corner man, you moron. Someone's got, someone's got to cry your tears and beat your ass. Who's your corner man? Come on, who's your corner man? He's gonna pro- he's gonna probably have uh, the bombshell be his corner man. Who's your corner person? Who's in your corner? Come on, you're a boxing guy. You should know that. Well, I would have my ex girlfriend. <sighs> oh boy, ex girlfriend. No, you have to have someone we know. How about Haggy Rance? How about Anus Breath? Haggy Rance. How about him? Haggy Rance would be epic. How about Jake the Snake? How about Jake the Snake? Yeah, he's right. He's a flip flopper. <laughs> and you are too. So how about how about now that Gigi's eighteen? You have you have a crush on you have a crush on Gigi. How about Gigi fly? How about Gigi? You pick up Gigi in the way and take her out there. How do you think? Nelson Green. That no, penis breath. That'd be fine. Yeah, I have nothing great in my corner. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five. Just five minutes. Okay. I got I got a five minute warrant from the from the award in here. So, what's your final thoughts on this on this behavior? What's your what 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 do you think you're gonna do? I mean, do you think you're gonna do something substantial, or what's the deal? Well, I know the thing is, I will fight him. Like 
it, he, it, this is a calculated attack by him because the thing is, he thinks he's all big because he's getting boxing training lessons. Just because you have money, apparently, from Twitch followers now and you're wasting it on boxing lessons when you're a loser and <laughs> getting boxing lessons <laughs> and you think you're a pro, you think you're Jake Paul now. And you're challenging me, right? But the thing is, I'll, I accept. So, how much, how much, how much porn do you consume a week? That's that slander. <laughs> and how much video games do you play? So, what would what, you say about, about 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 twelve hours a week in porn and video games? What do you think? <laughs> that's slander. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's people that can't put the remote down. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they would literally, they would literally have the remote while getting involved. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's you. Anyways, fun. any yeah, final? Okay. Here. All right, real quick. Let, let's say, let's real quick round two. You ready? Okay. Who are you taking? Cincinnati or Tennessee? I'm taking Kobe the Kitty, Cincinnati, thirty-five thirty. Who do you want? Tennessee or Cincinnati? Uh, ten, ten Week. Uh, fortune cookies go to Green Bay Penis. Guaranteed drama on Fat Boys Channel. Forty-seven twenty-three. Oh. What do you want? Fortune cookies uh, or guaranteed uh, drama? Forty-nineers. Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh, ra- raccoons. I'm taking Tampa Bay Tampa on Baby Maker. I'm taking Baby Maker. Twenty-three. I, I want. I want. I want Rodgers though. I want. I want the Packers, but, but I think the 49ers are gonna win. Okay. What you um, you want? What do you want Monday? Do you want you want uh, Tampa or do you want uh, Los Angeles? Uh, uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Wow. Over the baymaker, you turncoat. Buffalo Bimbos. It's the trap game of the week. I'm taking them over to Kansas City Chicklets in Sea of Red. You want the mafia or do you want the Chicklets? Oh shit! Yeah, like I want the Bills, but I do. Um, how has? Uh, the Chiefs have done really good. Yeah, I know, but it's a trap game of the week, like my Cowboys. Who do you want? Trap game or do you want the Bimbos? What do you want? I, I want I want the Bills. I, I said the Chiefs, but, I mean, I don't know. I'll go with the Bills. Okay. Anything else before I cut your ass loose? Uh, Aaron, get, get the money ready, $1,000, and I'll put you this summer. Okay. Well, thanks for thanks for taking my call. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Okay, go troll. Bye. That's just a, that's a known troll, troll, known liar right there. Anyways, we gotta go to eat. Let me see. This one is I think the what was this modern situations. Yeah, yeah. Douche is a douche. We thank the military veterans of the armed forces. Air Force, Army, Marines and Navy merchants and Coast Guard. They're in uniform. Thank you very much. All the wars, one, two, Korea, Vietnam, so on and so forth. We sacrifice the altar of freedom. We appreciate it very, very much. Balls, the side of Apple Wolfies. Men with the armed forces, and like I said, the police. Firemen, first responders, God bless working class. They run to fires and problems. Thank you, Bill. Work for a living. Thank you very, very much. They to contribute to the economy. We don't like the hunch. We don't like the plagiarize for either. Independent here, mind. I knew you wouldn't come on the show, you little liar. <laughs> it is what it is. Just slandering right along. You know, he consumes pornography more than anybody I know. Watching, playing video games is no way to go through life. Quite clearly, you know? Anyways, make good choices. Don't trick and drive. Call some murder someone. That's all we're asking. You can't go to Canada and see T-Bomb and have group sex then, okay? Safe sex. Get the kids' house out. We always say, right? You are your choices. You want to have sex? Great. All of a sudden, needle in the penis, and you have a pregnant, and you give spring babies. All right? Protect your ovaries, protect your penis, smashing gas into them. You don't like two men grunting and groaning and slapping away, that's fine. You can't watch two women have sex, that's gay sex, it's lesbian sex, okay? All right? My name is Jeff. Presentation at Cowboy Podcast, Fear Mongering Radio, Bitch Boy, NFL, NHL, Speculation Sports, live in the great state of Minnesota, telling you the luck. Have a great weekend, bitch, please. I mean, bitch, please.